Hi guys, it's Ryan and Karen here, helping you to fish smarter, not harder. In this week's blog, we're going to take you on a little journey with us. We recently went up to Darwin, we had a few things on up there, but we thought, hey, we would be mad not to have a crack at the million dollar fish. So what do we get up to, honey? Well, we went heli fishing. Uh, I thought it was going to be super expensive. It's been a bucket list thing for both of us. Yes. Uh, considering when we got married, it cost 800 bucks to get from one cent end of the resort to the other. What, three, mili three five, minutes? Five, the, three five minutes, minutes in, in a chopper? Not even that. To have a chopper uh, all day to do whatever you want with a pilot that knows how to go fishing is, you know, it's extraordinary. I thought it was going to cost like seven, eight thousand dollars It wasn't even half that. So we went heli fishing. Mm. We thought we might actually get the money back from catching, uh, a million catching on a million dollar fish. That way we could hire them out for the whole year. Because they have <laughs> extended the uh, dates till the dates till September, and it was the most amazing day. Really, we've done some exciting things in our lives. It was the mo one of the most amazing days we've ever had. So come on, guys, join us on our little trip while we go heli fishing. Going today? Get to the chopper. <laughs> so first up, we uh, had our safety briefing with the boys, which mm -hmm. was great. Uh, and then um, we took off. We waited for the chopper to warm up a little bit. We took off, and then we headed in the direction of uh, the Anson Bay region. Uh, we went across some beautiful wetlands. We went across the Barra Farm. We went out and had a look at as well. And uh, the wetlands and the wildlife was absolutely amazing. Uh, and then we had the privilege of flying straight over the mouth of the mighty Daly River. And you don't realise how wide it is no. until you actually go over it by air. It's I mean, it's, as, it's wider than the Hinchinbrook Channel, so it looks anyway. Yeah. So it, it, was, it, was, it was quite a treat actually going over the, the Daly because we've heard so much about it and we've never actually fished it, we've never actually been there. So it was sort of, it was like the first time I went to Ayers Rock, you know, it was like, oh my God. The daily. So we continued on, uh, then we went down the coast south of the daily and across the more beautiful wetlands and all sorts of country. It was amazing scenery by air. Uh, and then we came across this little creek mouth and the boys checked out uh, to see if there was any bait there and we had hovered over it and we could see some big schools of Popeyes. So we landed the chopper in this little tiny, tiny little spot. The tiniest little spot. I was thinking, oh my God, how are we going to land there? He's seriously not going to land there, is he? And sure enough, he just dropped this chopper down. I'm going to begin to give you guys a lecture on, on random crocodiles, Crops. but we, yeah. just, we just sort of ask if you keep a rod length back. From the water's the edge, no worries, mate. Yeah, we don't. when we release fish, we do it from afar. We do it a little bit different. We don't we don't use the spearing method over here. Yeah, we, we just... We just let the awkward slap in. Yeah. All right, let's All right. go and uh, see what's chasing these Popeyes. Okay, nice little schoolie to start off with. Yeah, a few starting to bust up over there. Okay. Ooh. Nice little oceanic fish too. Yeah, nice little creamy. Beautiful. And a little bit shiny. Ah, oh, mate, they're nice fish. They're beautiful, the oceanics. Lovely fish. Good job, high five. Has it got a tag? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye for those tags. a million dollar fish. Guys, I reckon we should go home now. That, that way I can say I outfish Ryan Moody. <laughs> it is only early. We managed to get a, you know, a couple of schoolies, but we had to get it, move along and get to another region. So off we went. Uh, but we... that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because we got to this great place and Ryan doesn't like to leave fish to find fish. We could tell there were fish there. We'd hear them boofing. Um, they caught a couple of little fellas. And the guys are going, come on, we've got to move on, we've got to move on. And Ryan's like, no, I don't want to leave here. But the, <laughs> but the worst part was every single place we went to was better than the last one. Because oh. the next spot then was that, the beach fishing. The beaches, that was oh, amazing. My God. Flying across the beaches, along the beaches, spotting schools of barra in the shallows, just off the shore break, was amazing. It was spectacular because we'd come past the beautiful red cliffs. Then we're flying across this amazing beach, not a boat, nothing, no human in Kui. Totally remote. And find, oh, look for barrel. There's one. Vroom, down we zoom, land. And then the boys are out the chopper, racing up the beach, sight casting them in the shallows. We're just running up here to catch up to a, a bigger school we saw before. Spotting them from the chopper, it's unbelievable. It's better than a polling platform on the flats, that's for sure. And it keeps you fit, lose a few kilos. Here's a couple. Oh, oh, we got one! Yay! Woohoo! Oh, I lost it! Oh, so 
exciting. Whoa, got one on! Come on, million dollar fish has got a tag! How cool is this? We just flew over them, we zoomed down in the chopper and we just landed here and ran out and booker! Got one on, woohoo! Honey Bunny, the helifish guys are out fishing you again! What's going on? Nice and clear, no crop worries. Oh, he's so beautiful! He's back in, don't tell your mates. Off he goes, happy as Larry. Well, we got a couple of schoolies and then we moved on. But we'd, by this stage, we'd caught, we caught a fish in every single location we went to. Yeah. Uh, no, by the last one. Yeah. So every single place we caught a fish. And with the million dollar fish, they release them all over the shop. That's right. And they're all sorts of sizes. So don't worry about only catching a schoolie because yeah. half the time, most of those fish most that are fish, tagged are school size fish. Most of the $10,000 fish that are caught are schoolies. Yeah, exactly. So then we went out to the runoff and fished in some little tiny drains where we got all bogged in the mud. Covered in mud. Covered it in was mud. the most fun I've had since <laughs> I was 10. I loved it. We were traipsing through the mangrove mud. We saw crocodile slides, which we had to be a bit careful of. But the guys were fishing in these tiny little drains and just jigging little little fellas oh, out. The pilots <laughs> are out fishing the fishermen. That's all right. I'm known for big fish, remember? Oh, I see. I've trouble. <laughs> from the lagoons. Uncle Ryan's going to catch you in about five years time. That's right. Go little fella. Grow up. I'm waiting for the right one. Ah, One of those ones on the beach earlier, he was a good one. Yeah. There was a couple there. That, uh, yeah, there were a couple of nice fishing ones. So. Yeah, yeah, and so they were just sitting out a bit wider. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the helifish guys caught more than you did there. Well, they did. And I pulled the hooks once again. <laughs> no, no. Sob story. Hey, what are you? Oh, I pulled the hooks, I pulled the hooks, I pulled the hooks. Oh, well. But we did. you did catch the biggest fish. I did. And that was at the next spot. So we, uh, we took off from there across the savannah, a bit more beautiful scenery. And then we went to a little coastal creek. We probably got there a tad late because they were buffing just as we got there. Mm. And I managed to catch a, a nice one in about 90 centimetres, um, just as we got there. And uh, there was a few other big fish woofing around, and then the action went a bit quiet as that creek started to drain on the flat. So if we weren't mucking around in that first pot for too long, yes. I reckon we would have been on the money there. We would have got a few more nice fish. It really was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it, the, you just get to the first amazing location, you want to stay mm. because it's fantastic, but you don't realise what's coming. You no, know, it was no. just one amazing location after another. Yeah, I only catch the big ones, so. <laughs> and I will tease you if you drop that. I know you will, mate. <laughs> there was a couple of good buffs there earlier. Yeah, yeah. I can see why you call this Meter Creek. That's right, yeah. Well, we've, put, we've caught well over 100 metre fish out of this creek. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh big barra. He's a monster. Mate, shake that one off. That one's better. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it's around his bottom of his gills, I think. Yeah. Nice and gentle. Now, what were we saying about the, the tag, million dollar tag? Yeah, we haven't worked out the sharing on this, have we? No. <laughs> Details. Yeah. Oh, I think. Alright, 50 uh, 50 then, how's that? <laughs> yeah, I reckon everyone gets a share. Come on, we've all, we've all played a part. There you go, we got him. Beautiful. Oh, honey bunny, oh. how big's that one? Oh, it'd be about 90 on the dot, I'd say, maybe. 90 on the dot? Oh, no. Hang on. I'll get this mud off my eyes so I can see. Ninety and a half. Ninety and a half. <laughs> Ninety and a half. Oh well, it's pretty close. Someone knows how uh, big fish are, eh? Hey? <laughs> little Xerix, little Barry X. Yep. All right, let's get her back in the water. She's got Beauty. the tag roller over. A million dollar fish note. Stand there, baby. Awesome. Heli fishing. Only way to go. All right. Go. Fish? Yeah, buddy. No crocodile. No crocs. No crocs. In you go, girl. Off she goes. Oh. <laughs> 100 mile an hour. Good on you, bud. Too easy. Yep. High five. High five to the camera. <laughs> yep.
And then we had lunch there. The lunch was fantastic. Yep. Cannot fault the lunch. Oh, the lunch was beautiful. It was just beautiful location, deck chairs, oh. the whole works. I was comfy as sitting in the shade. It was yep. amazing. Yep. Absolutely amazing. And what do we do on the way home? Well, before we get to that, first of all, we went to this other little place to wash all the mud off from when oh, we went nice. through the swamp, yes. which I actually really enjoyed that too. It was like, ah, oh, I'm coming in mud. Hey, look at the beautiful little click crystal clear creek where we won't get eaten by a crocodile. Let's just land there and actually, wash off. There was a little four foot croc that took off up the creek just as we landed, remember? Oh, yeah, we did see quite a few crocs. We saw a lot of crocs. Water buffalo. Yeah. Pigs, pigs. All sorts of birds. All sorts of stuff. All Great birds. Stuff. It was amazing. Um, so it was just one thing after another. Yeah. Every, you just take off and landing all the time. Where do you want to go? Take a circle. When they were sight fishing off the beach, I was like, oh, I want to get some footage of the barra. So I jump in the chopper. Let's go for a spin. We took the drone. What do you want to take a drone for? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a chopper at our disposal all day. day. were great. Um, they've Good actually blokes. they've taken Richard Attenborough out. Richard Attenborough? You mean David? David, David Attenborough. <laughs> There's two of them, you know, they're brothers. I know. Um, wouldn't that be? I'd die to go out and go out for the day with him. I know. It would be awesome, wouldn't it? He's my hero. Yeah. He's so wonderful. Well, actually, we actually went over to the same magnetic ant hills that he was there to film. I know. And those those ants that they all build their nests. They're like big flat doorways. Mm and they all build them north and south. Uh, they all face north-south, so that's why they're called magnetic ants. They look like a big cemetery. It looked yeah, like a war cemetery in the did. middle of nowhere. It did. It was absolutely yeah. spectacular. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And then the piece de, de resistance. Just when we thought things couldn't get any better, wife gets some fun for a change. Yes. On the way home, we went to one of the most amazing waterfalls in Litchfield National Park. Uh, something that you can't get to by car. Landed on a cliff. Yep, landed on a cliff. Landed on a cliff. Oh my god. This is the highlight. It's a highlight every time we go somewhere new. What's going on? Then it was uh, pretty much time to go home after that, wasn't it? I know. It was, uh, you know, we, we went out all day. It was a big day, but it didn't seem like it lasted long enough because mm. we were having too much fun. I know. And we came back and we were a, a little bit higher, so we could see Dale in the distance and the sun was starting to set and we'd had a swim and it was just, everyone was quiet yeah. in the chopper. It was just quiet going back uh, to when we landed. It I was, was a bit exhausted, actually. Yeah. I don't think I've run along the beach that, that far in such a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we will be going back to do that again. Every time we go to Darwin, we are going Kelly. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Twice. What a day. What a day. Unbelievable. We cannot believe it. So amazing. No, that was an awesome day, guys. No, I've had a good day. Fantastic. Yeah. I've done some amazing in. things in my life, but I tell you what, that was... That's up there. That's up there. Well, we caught That's a fish every single location except the last one. Yeah. We caught a barra mm. at every single location we went except and the last one. And jumped quite a few off. And jumped quite a few I off. I did anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to get the biggest. <laughs> and I had the best <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thank nice. you, Dan. Glad you had a good time. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. I can't recommend Helifish enough. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic experience, whether you're into fishing or wildlife. Or yeah, it whatever, doesn't matter. It's just a great day out. I can't thank you boys enough. So yeah. you, Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Team hug! Team hug! <laughs> So 
clearly we didn't catch a million dollar fish, otherwise we'd probably be on a cruise ship right now. I mean, awesome. It's hard to describe what an amazing day it was. It exactly is. It's just We've done some amazing incredible. things in our lives. Yeah. And it was Up to have a chopper at your disposal with a with a, a pilot that knows about fishing. Um, knows the area like the back of his hand. Absolute without palm. Exactly. You, you've got to do that. So guys, if you enjoyed this content and you'd like to see some great fishing tips and more of our travels, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and if you only want some special tips I send out by email only, head on over to our website, www.ryanmoonyfishing.com and sign up for free email updates. Get in the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, and I'll see you next time.